Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 4, part 286. And we're going to go back to our regularly scheduled madness. This time we're going to be driving V8 Supercar, specifically the number 9 Ford Falcon. So, uh, yeah, here we go. But first, we need to upgrade it. And by upgrade it, I mean I'm taking the restrictors off this damn thing. So, let's just do that. Hey, we're going to be at triple eight horsepower. Nice. And I'm going to see if I can just win without doing anything else to the car. We'll see. So, uh, without further ado, it's time for the Aussie V8 Speedway event. Driving around ovals and V8 supercars. Oh, yeah. So, back to our normal upgraded AI. Here's what everyone else is driving. So, we've got an even mix of Fords and Holdens, thanks to me. Here's the three ovals we're going to be tackling in this segment. And let's get started at the peninsula. Okay, here we go. Let's, uh, let's do this. Shit, and hope for the best here. Nine laps around the peninsula. In our triple eight horsepower Falcon. Oh, hey, we're, I just realized we're driving the Van Gisbergen uh, car. Nice. Certain SVG is one of my favorite uh, supercar drivers uh, currently. Nice. So, here we go. Go, go, go. Oh shit, I'm reaching top speed. No, I've run out of gear. I have run out of gear. It's okay, it looks like everyone else has also run out of gear. 193 miles per hour! Around the inside of not John O. Webb. If this was Forza 2, it'd be Jonathan Webb. Unfortunately not. Okay, up to the second. I just got Davis and his Falcon. I like how all the top drivers chose Falcons. And then the bottom five chose Commodores. It's like, well, I see uh, how turn 10 swings in the Holden versus Ford feud. Uh, this, we're both at top speed is not helping here. Like, I'm going to have to use some shenanigans to get around them, I think. Because we're also, um, you know, we don't, we don't have to try in the corners either. When did I get into racing? Since I was a very small child. I don't even remember like it was that long ago. I was that young. Oh, oh, gotta run. Gotta run. The Giz train is coming through. Oh, he's in the water bottom car. <laughs> yeah, plate lacing without the plates. Quite literally, because I took the restrictors off of this, as did the AI. So this is fucking literally plate racing without the plates. These, if this is real life, these engines would be absolutely completely destroyed by now. Good thing this isn't real life. Ford Bolt engine. That's not the correct button. Nope. Engine's fine. It's okay. The only time the engine actually gets damaged, uh, other than contact, is if I uh, downshift too early and over rev the engine. But pinging off the rev limiter at all times, it, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, aren't you fed up with Forza yet? Nope. Nope, not fed up with Forza yet. I'm ready for it to be over, but I'm not fed up with it. So I'm still having fun with this game. It's just overstayed its welcome. Oh boy, spoopy LP. Test drive getting into the Hawko Wad spirit. Hey, Brown is taking uh, second from Davis. I think he's... yeah, it's Brown, so he's also in a Falcon. A 
Australian COTs. Clearly. We've got four laps to go here at the peninsula. Not quite out of the woods yet, because it's like brown spin, uh, brown might actually be catching me a little bit here. Maybe. Do a Forza 5 format when I get to it. Uh, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. That bridge ain't gonna come for a, quite a long time, though. Star Fish Line was on the straight instead of the trial in Forza Series in the second GT 2002. But this is an original racetrack. Nice narrating on Matt J's video. I, I, I like doing it. I thought I definitely could have done better as far as my delivery, but hey, as long as people enjoy the video, and that's good. I, I'm kind of hoping that Matt, like, maybe uh, has me do more videos for him. It's actually quite doing the narration stuff. It's cool shit. Am I technically redlining or hit the red runner? Uh, I think both, Junior. Considering the rev one is at the red line, it's, it looks like, at least according to this, the uh, attack. When suddenly Spears is in second. Okay. Fucking Spears trying to bring uh, glory to hold in here. I love all the fucking like. All the decal placement on the supercars, like, they even have fucking sponsor decals on the headlights. The headlights still work, but they still have fucking decals, like, on the headlights. It's great. Yeah, I'm sure with this game, Junior, like, even if the red line was passed, Earth Rev Limiter was past the red line, no damage, engine damage would happen. That's just how this game works. You know, this isn't a fucking hardcore simulation. So, you know. But there we go, first race complete, and... Yeah. Spears, uh, gets at least one of the Holdens on the podium, so that's cool. Alright. That was an interesting first race. Now let's go on to uh, something a little less straightforward. And then the other two races, so, uh, yeah. Okay, um, I should be good this time. So, turns out, um, I had a bit of a handling disadvantage. I've rectified that now. I, I, I widened the shit out of the tires. So... No more handling disadvantage for me. None whatsoever. Who's gonna have the grips? What time is it for me? Uh, it's currently 11 p.m. So, should be in much better shape here. Plus, I also. Uh, still have maximum downforce on this thing, so that's going to help me as well. It's a blow by Davis. I could have won with the stock tire with, but... Eh, I just came up too short. I mean, if Davis and Taylor, you know, didn't get as big of a gap, I absolutely would have got them. Like, all it took was, like, a couple more laps, I definitely want to pass them both. Unfortunately, this is not a 14-lap race, it's only 12. 
So instead of doing what I usually do and be a stubborn idiot, because like, hey, I know I can win, let's try this. I'm just gonna fuck it with fuck, fuck it. Just fuck it. Just fuck it. And I already got the lead. And should be able to just pull away here. Suddenly 35-3 without much effort. I had to push as hard as possible to fucking run at like a mid-35 with sock width. So, yeah. There, there you go. Although I have to say, I was running consistent like mid to high 35s this last half of the race. Which is surprising considering how hard I had to push around every single fucking corner. But it still wasn't enough. And this is more than enough. And I have a 2.7 second lead. Hooray. Squirrely off the final corner. It's fine. And a new PBA somehow, even after that. Oh, look at that. All I have to do that initial lift into the corner. Perfect. Four nine, hey, getting even faster. And we're halfway through the race. Ever thought of speed running in the forces? No. Speed running is not my thing. I like. I have mad respect for speed running and speed runners, but I simply cannot play the same game over and over and over and over and over and over again. Like, there's a reason why I own like 500 games. Variety. Like, I, I, I just can't play the same thing over and over and over again. Even like my favorite games ever, you know, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, Grand Turismo 4. Y you get tired of them after a while. Even if it's your most favorite thing. Or at least I get tired of them after a while. Oh shit. Too fast on the exit. Well, broke the front of my car and the transmission somehow. My favorite Gran Turismo to LP. Can't say GT4. Too bad I'm saying GT4 anyways. Because that's the answer. Because it's you know my favorite Gran Turismo game. It's my favorite racing game still of all time. Let's right, see how much this damage is reducing my pace. Thirty-five nine that lap, considering that was recovery after hitting the wall. Not bad. I think it's still faster than Taylor and Davis. I think they're in like the extremely low thirty-sixes. So. Favorite Forza at LP, uh, probably Forza 2, because once again, it's my favorite Forza. Remember when I started LPing Forza 2 and went, oh shit, god damn it, I followed my fucking tire tracks right into the wall again. I'm a genius. Uh, remember when I started Forza 2, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna LP all the. 364s of motorsports in succession. It's gonna be fun, and then here I am. 
like a year and a half later. around one more time. Pace and gaps don't matter. I got a five second cushion, so I'm fine. So just nurse it around. Okay, don't follow my tire marks. There we go. And cross the line. I took way too many tries and kerfuffling with stuff. But I get the win. That looks ready. Five seconds. Oh hey, Davis and Brown actually got down to the 35s. As well as Esposito. In fucking ninth place. Cool. So, one race to go in the Supercar Speedway series, ah. Uh. Alright, final race at Indianapolis. So, away we go. Eight laps around the Brickyard, and... As far as changes to the car, uh, I just went back to default down for us, because I got the mechanical grip, I don't need the fucking arrow grip. This shouldn't be as bad as Motegi. I say that now. Oh, God. I say that now. And we got shit like that happening. Oh boy. Come on. Get around the Commodores. Uh, sneak up in front of Russo here. So he's slipstream off of Esposito. And top speed. There's that. I like how there's a Volvo uh, decal on that Holden. It's interesting. Since this is, I believe, a 2011 spec car, and I don't think. I don't remember when Volvo joined supercars. I'm pretty sure it was after 2011, though. Oh, Jesus. How you doing, Taylor? This is gonna be a lot easier than a Motegi. Probably could have just done this with stock tire whip. And into the lead. It'd be awesome if we had like an actual V8 supercar race around Indianapolis, the road course, not the oval. Or rectangle. I just, I, I just say that to have an excuse to actually, like, attend a V8 Super, be able to attend a V8 Supercar race. So, you know. Alright, and holy shit, yeah, um... They don't seem to be able to uh, tackle these turns at Indy very, very well. So I already have a five second lead. So, yeah. Would love to attend a Formula 1 race. I too would like to be bored for two hours. Ha ha ha. If I had an option to play GT4 or GT1 for replay, which would I play? I mean, I'm going to replay GT1 at some point. GT4... Eh, it had its issues, but it's not... It, it doesn't need to be replayed, so... There you go. That fountain. So I picked GT1 just because that decision's already been <coughs> made. Excuse me, holy shit. I'm professional, burp belching on stream and also in the video. 
I am double the professional. Alright, halfway Indy. Careful with that sticky the uh, super glue curb. So I'm uh, completely destroying everyone ass. everyone's asses here. Have I played Horizon 3 yet? No, I have not. I'm still debating on whether I should play Horizon 3 before playing Forza 7. Like, casually. Don't you know? Three to go. Oh, no. Damn it. Fuck, I hit the super glue. Son of a bitch. Finally happened. It was inevitable considering how low the line I was running in turn one constantly. It's a good thing I'm ten years ahead. Wow, 17 seconds, holy shit. I'm surprised I only lost 2 seconds from hitting the uh, super glue. As I'm apparently now calling it. Because it's not really sticky grass, because it's not the grass, it's that curb, so... So like how we have like that it's a constant tunnel vision effect because of how fast we're going. Even around the corners. Alright, final lap in Indy. Nice and smooth, let's make this a good one. Maybe get a sub 49 second lap to close out the race. Because why not? Oh, I'm in the green. It can happen. Might slow down a little too much there in turn three. Good, and... Coming to the line. Am I gonna get that 48? Uh, nah, yes, I got it. 48.966. Alright, well, oh god. Look at that difference in lap time. Yeah, I think I was a bit faster than everyone else, just a bit. Oh, poor planning. So, uh. Nice. Now, so wait for it to cross the line. Do to do to do. There we go. Jesus. I won by tw uh, 32 seconds. That is my largest margin of victory in quite a long time. Whoopsie. So, uh, yeah. About that. Definitely should have, uh, taken that, reverted back to stock tire width. Oh well. But there we go. So uh, that was a lot smoother, at least in the last series. And with that, the uh, Aussie V8 Speedway event's complete, so... Three more Speedway events to go. We'll go to the next one next time on Forza. Stay tuned. Uh...